Right then folks, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and more importantly, please share the link. Here again with Britt Agnew, first team manager. However, like we said last week, a week in football is a very long time. Last week we were celebrating an amazing win against Concert. Today, one all against Arrogant Railway. Brett, what's your thoughts on that, mate? Disappointed, to be fair. I'm, uh, I'm disappointed, really disappointed. Um, that's ultimately that's what happens when you don't take the chances. We had three good chances. We had three good chances in the, the first half um, to, fin to, to finish the game in the first half. I mean, you don't take the chances. Comes back and bites you in the, the backside, and that's what happened to us today. First thing I told the boys was scrap last week. That's that's old newspaper. That. That's not what I'm all about. I don't live in the past, I live in the present. So what I wanted for the boys was to to basically go into this game fresh. Because every team every team strengthens from year to year. So if you played them last year, they ain't gonna be the same this year. Um, and ultimately it's hard. Do you, think there was a bit of, do you think there was a bit of complacency? Oh, massive, so yeah. well last week massive, against uh, an un, he was an underdog last week. Today he came into the game as a favourite. Yeah. After such a good performance, was there that little bit of complacency? Yeah, of course there was, yeah, massively. And as I say, I've said that a few times on the side of the pitch. I feel like obviously I'm Scottish, so a different language, but I'm not talking alien. You know what I mean? So I've said it to some boys, and literally two minutes later, not even two minutes, they, they, they do the same thing again. I'm trying to coach them, and they're just not listening. So. Yeah, myself and Bows were disappointed, but ultimately, as I said, I don't live in the past, so 1-1, one, one, that's game over, and we move on to Wednesday against Worksop. As I said, that's one good thing with this division, games come thick and fast, so Wednesday, away to Worksop. Any more players coming in? Because what I will say is, I've, I've noticed today that there's a couple of new faces, we had Ben Lewis. Yeah, um, well, Ben, Ben, sorry, get, no, ben, um, ben was one that um, wanted, because I wanted to free up Lewis Dennison because he's playing right back and I don't think he likes playing right back. I think he's better on, on, on the wing and stuff. And uh, I had to play him in centre mid today because Fox is carrying a bit of an injury um, and I don't really want to be having in four substitutions after 60 minutes every week. So uh, whether Fox takes that or not, then it's, it's, it's up to himself. But as I say, I ain't. I'm not angry with players, I'm more disappointed in, in, in anything because I just think the complacency just settled in, five yard passes, gone stray, just not really doing the things we're working on at training and, and that basically is, is what happens when you come into the game and you don't do what you're working on and it makes you look silly. So. What, what, what was the score with Jake there today? Obviously I noticed him in the dugout with you. Yeah, he, he, he hurt his ankle again in, in training. Um, yeah. Have you got any more players due to come in? Because yet, yet again, I know we spoke last week about players coming and going. Coupling this week, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, I don't really want any more players in because the only, we had. I would have kept the same side this week. I had to you is because Tom got himself silly sent off. Fraser was working, and ultimately that's <coughs> Fraser's um, and, J and Jake's got himself injured. So to say that's. That, that's what happens in this when you're such a such a short string squad. Then you need you need them to be a bit cure. Let's say a bit cure um, with what they do. So yeah, I, no, I don't want to be making any because I want to keep a solid side. Get that con continuity, consistency together in the squad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a certain style of football that you um you work to embed into the team uh, in the I coming do. weeks? Of I do. I don't want to be. I've already spoke to the boys. I want to play football. I don't want to kid on your Barcelona and Man City and do tick attack when you can't do it. So I want to play football and pass the ball properly. But when you don't trust yourself and you don't trust trust your friends, then that's not going to happen. So ultimately a lot of the boys they just they've got used to they've got used to playing in a certain way at other clubs, not just here, at other clubs where they think that's that's acceptable but it's not, it's not acceptable and, and me and Bows are trying our hardest to work at training to do the things properly. But when you're doing it at training and they come to the game and it just, they don't do it, then it, it baffles me. Frustrating. It's frustrating. I can see you was, frustra yeah. was, was frustrated, was frustrated in that dugout today. And like you say, thankfully you are Scottish, so most people didn't understand the language. <laughs> yeah. But there were some interesting things said in that dugout today. Course, yeah. But like you say, we move on to workshop now Wednesday night. Yep. Um, hopefully we'll be there. If not, we'll get you up the next home game. But yet again, Brett, thank you so much for talking no to problem, us today. And, uh, yeah. We'll Thanks speak to you after the next home game. No problem. Thanks, Archie.
yet again if you can give this a thumbs up give it a like and more importantly if you can share the video be really appreciated see you next time on bridtown tv